What's up everyone? Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I'm Tatum and happy 2022. This is my January plan and budget with me. I'm also adding a new segment to these videos at the very end. I'm gonna do some favorites from, you know, December, I guess, or ones that I'm loving right now and will continue using throughout the month and much, much longer. So first we're gonna start off by going over my December budget and seeing how I did. Now, if you watched my budget with me for December, you'll know that my November budget was not going so well. So I'm interested to check into my December budget and see how I did. And just like last time, I will screen record so you can see everything and I'll put myself in a little box. Okay, so looking at my December budget here, we can see that for rent, car, car insurance, we were on par. For food, I spent less than I thought, which is fabulous. For shopping, I spent about $85 over, which for me is amazing. For travel, I spent $20 under, which is nice. Gas, I didn't buy any gas. Entertainment, I didn't buy anything for entertainment. Work gifts, I spent less than I was expecting. And then this is where I didn't do so well in the extra Christmas gifts part. So I had all of my Christmas gifts bought prior to December starting. I was really on it this year and I decided that I wanted to get something extra for my sister and it was slightly expensive. So didn't do so well in that column, but overall I did way better in December than I did in November. Maybe that's because I bought all the Christmas gifts in November and November was my first month actually budgeting. But if we look at my pie chart here, I saved way more than I spent. So that is what we're looking for. Now, moving into my January 2022 budget, we can see that I just copied over the same template and I already paid rent. So let's include that. I have already paid my car payment. So I did that. I've not paid my car insurance yet. I already went to the grocery store this year. So I inputted that amount. And under shopping, I did do a little bit of shopping. Um, yeah, I, I am not to be trusted when it comes to shopping. And I also added a different category, exercise equipment. Oh, where are you going, little sunny? She's moving to the other side of the couch. Um, I added a column that I didn't have last time, or I guess a row. Um, exercise equipment, so I purchased a new yoga mat, a new yoga block, and some shoes for 12 3 30 that I'm only going to wear in the gym. So I was not expecting to do that, and I just went rogue and did it. And if I'm being honest, I don't even remember what I bought in the shopping category. So now going into the plan with me portion of this video. If you watched my previous videos, you know that my agenda has monthly notes and then an entire January goals section. So under the monthly notes, I write out my four bills that I have and I check them off when I have paid them just so I can remember. So that's what that looks like. And then the other side, I basically broke out my new year's resolutions into attainable goals so obviously i'm not going to finish any of my new year's resolutions in january but i wanted to kind of break some of them down if you watch that video you know that one of my goals for 2022 is to read 12 books so starting in january i think reading one book would be really helpful that's under personal goals and then under health goals i have do yoga every day because my new year's resolution for health is to do yoga every single day. My financial goals for January, no buying books or nail polish because I have far too many books. If you watched, actually I haven't posted that one yet, but I'm posting a video 
next week kind of a reset routine after coming back from a vacation rob and i came back from ellicottville a few days ago so i recorded the you know whole process of laundry cleaning putting away christmas decor all of that and i realized how many books i had while i was doing that and i also just buy nail polish all the time so frankly i just need to stop doing that and my other financial goal for january in terms of finances I want to save $2,000. So for 2022, I want to save 50% of all of my paychecks for short-term savings. So even before I look at that number, like before I take the 50%, already my 401k is out, taxes are out, all of that stuff. So, and my stock purchase plan as well. So I am saving for long-term even before I consider this. Um, but after that, I want to save 50% of what is left of the paycheck. So saving $200 or $2,000 will definitely help me with that goal. Then in terms of YouTube, I want to film two grad videos. So I am starting grad school in a few days, which is nerve wracking and exciting. Um, I want to film the entire process. I already have a few videos a campus visit, the application process, all of that. So I'll probably record a video relating to scheduling classes. Let me know down below if you have any ideas of things for grad school you want to see or are interested in. And then I also want to get 25 likes on a YouTube video. Because my channel is not yet monetized, the way that my subscribers can help me the most, or frankly anyone, you don't have to be a subscriber to like the video, but if you are liking the video, that really pushes it out to other people in the algorithm. So getting 25 likes on a video would be super great, push it out to more people. So I'm hoping to generate that. And while speaking about that, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. So I have three favorites for this month. First is my hydro jug. I now actually have two hydro jugs and Rob has one. This is the first one I got though. Basically, Hydro Jug holds 73 ounces of water, and I really love it because during the workday, I don't always have time to get up and go refill my water, so this keeps me sustained throughout the workday. I'm also a Hydro Jug ambassador, so I will leave a link down in the um, description box that you can click, and if you purchase anything through that link, I will receive a commission. So thank you if you do. And yeah, just obsessed with my hydro jug and oh, you want a hydro jug, Sunny? You want a hydro jug? Sunny loves to lick the hydro jug. <laughs> and then my second favorite is this Vital Proteins Collagen. So I am not super into health, but Rob's sister over... Um, our ski vacation introduced me to this collagen and said it is helping her nails, her hair, everything just overall health. And I was like, well, I could use some hair, nail and skin health as well. So I bought this from Target, but you can buy it on Amazon. You can buy it directly from their website. I've also seen it in smaller grocery stores like we shop at the Fresh Time. So this is unflavored. I don't taste it. I put it in my chai in the morning. I've done so for the past two days and it just mixes right in, no flavor. So we'll see if I have some benefits from that. And my last favorite for this video are the Too Faced Hangover Pillow Balm Lip Treatments. So I only have two of the flavors right here, but I bought the little gift pack, which had four of them and I am I'm obsessed. I feel like they make my lips just so smooth, so healthy. And during the winter time, that's something we all need. So the gift pack had four different um, flavors and colors. And then the two I'm holding right now, um, the watermelon, which is year round. You can get this in the larger one. And there was also an original, which you can get year round. And then there were two holiday ones. So this kind of pinkish red sparkly one. And then there was also a clear sparkly one. So I really love these. I feel like they're not sticky, but they kind of look just like a gloss, but 
They're even better for you than that, more along the lines of a Laneige sleeping mask, but for the day. So absolutely obsessed. And that is all for this video. So if you made it to the end, I appreciate you. Make sure to like and subscribe and stick around for more videos coming later this month.